nutrition tips you don't have to follow anymore. 1. Snacks Lots of nutritionists tell their patients that having a healthy snack before going out will make sure they're not very hungry and therefore will make them less likely to overeat when they're in the restaurant. However, as you probably know, snack or no snack, when they bring out that bread basket few people are able to resist the temptation. So in the end, not having a snack will actually save you some calories for the goodies you'll definitely want when you're out. 2. Meat Many people think that eating white meat is better for them than eating red meat. But here's the thing, in terms of calories, the difference between chicken breast and steak isn't that huge. It's all about the way it's cooked. Sauces add a ton of calories, so look out for that. But if you're sick of eating chicken, go ahead and order steak, but make sure it's grilled. 3. Eggs How many of you threw away the egg yolks when you were on a diet, because you thought that you're only allowed egg whites if you want to get fit? Turns out you didn't have to. Science supports the fact that eating whole eggs is better for you, because the yolks contain much more nutrients and therefore make your meal more satisfying. I mean, who doesn't like poached eggs? And you can't have that without the yolk. However, if it's cheesy omelets you're after, perhaps do skip the yolks because cheese adds a lot of calories. 4. Non-fat yogurt If anyone ever tells you to buy non-fat yogurt again, don't listen. It's fine to eat yogurts with a bit of fat in them, they taste better and the difference in calories is so small you shouldn't even care about it. 5. Skipping butter While we're on the subject of fats let's talk about butter. How many times did you skip on having butter with your bread? or not adding butter to your dishes because you thought it's bad for you. What you were actually doing is just sacrificing the favors of your dish, but we understand, you thought you were doing the right thing. Well from now on, you don't have to. Adding a little butter to your dishes is fine, it'll add flavor and keeps you full for longer. A little fat has never hurt anyone, but don't go overboard. 6. Whole grains If you prefer white pasta to whole wheat pasta go ahead and have the white one. It's actually fine as long as your portions are correct and you don't overeat. White pasta is actually fortified with iron and vitamin B, so it's not exactly bad for you. And you can always get your whole grains from quinoa or oats.